Okay, let's tackle the question, what is algebra? That is the topic of this video. And you can see here I have some stuff written down, and this is algebra, okay? Now, this is just some of the things that you're gonna learn in a basic algebra course, but uh, there is a lot to this uh, topic of algebra. Now, some of you out there may be, you know, scared of this uh, word, algebra. Matter of fact, your answer to this question, what is algebra, may very well be, it is the math that makes you look like this, you know? You know, if that's uh, your definition of algebra, well, listen, I get it, I understand, but listen, algebra is actually awesome. It helps us solve all sorts of problems, so we need to just kind of relax and put things in context. So this is going to be a pretty quick video. We're just going to kind of lay out the basics of what uh, algebra is and some of the things that you're going to learn in a basic algebra course. So I'm going to get to all of this in just one second, but first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades, and I've come to the belief that anyone and everyone can be successful in mathematics, but you need two things. One, you got to be willing to work hard and do your part, but what you need beyond that is you need super clear and understandable instruction, and that's where I think I can help you out. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level, definitely check out my math help program. Again, I'm going to leave a link to my program uh, in the description of this video. If you happen to be preparing for any sort of test with a math section on it, and there's a lot of them out there, I'm talking about things like the GED, SAT, ACT, maybe like a teacher certification exam or uh, the ASVAB exam if you're going into the military, I could help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, I was just, uh, my courses were actually voted number one for middle school and high school uh, for homeschooling by a major homeschool publisher. Very excited about that. And if you need some math notes, I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video. Okay, so let's get into what is algebra. Well, you may not uh, remember, but in fact, you were doing algebra way back like in the first and second grade, okay? So for me, this was like 1975, something like that. And I can remember way back in the good old days doing problems like this, okay? So we'll do like basic addition problems, right? So two plus three where, you know, we have our little fingers up, we're counting, and we say 2 plus 3, that is 5, that would be correct. And then, you know, during your little homework uh, prom, your teacher would say, okay, 2 plus, and then there'd be like a little box there, uh, equals 5, and uh, the younger version of you would be thinking, you'd be like, you know, like this, you'd be like, hmm, 2 plus what is equal to 5? And then you might have your little hand up there with your fingers and you'd be counting. And you'd be like, oh, the answer is a 3. Okay? And you would be correct. In fact, what you were doing right here is algebra. Okay? You might, see, you might be saying, well, nah, what are you talking about, Mr. YouTube Math Man? Listen, I'm telling you right now, this is algebra. Okay? You were solving an equation and you were doing it kind of in a, in a mental way, in an informal way. But in fact, that is algebra. Okay, so let's take the same uh, problem that we were doing way back in the first and second grade, uh, two plus box is equal to five, and write this in a more formal way like algebra. Okay, so this box, okay, represents what? It's some number. And it, uh, in algebra, okay, this box represents a number, right? So let me just write this out like this. Well, in algebra, we use these things called variables. This box is, in fact, a variable. And the variables we like to use in algebra are often uh, lowercase letters like x, y, z, a, b. Anything could be a variable as long as it represents a number. So this same problem in algebra in a more formal way would be 2 plus x is equal to 5. Okay, And we're trying to do, in algebra, one of the main things we're trying to do is to figure out this value of x that makes this true. It's no different uh, than what you were doing way back in the first and second grade. So let's go ahead and take a look at this a step further, because this is a big part of what uh, we do in algebra. Okay, So here I have 2 plus x is equal to 5, and we want to know uh, what value of x okay, makes this true. Okay, so 2 plus what number is uh, 5? Again, x is a variable. It represents a number. We know that the answer is 3, but finding the value of this particular variable, the formal process of that uh, that we learn in algebra is called solving equations. Okay, now way back in the first and second grade, we could just kind of use our fingers and think about it for a second, and you do some mental math that we could get the answer, but we need a more 
kind of formal structure to solve equations. So here's an example how to solve this particular equation in algebra, okay? So here we have 2 plus x is equal to 5. So in algebra, the proper way to, to solve for x or to figure this out is to subtract 2 from both sides of the equation. And then we're going to add down in a column manner. 2 minus 2 is 0. x plus nothing is x. And 5 minus 2 is 3. So x is equal to 3. This is what we call the solution. All right, so here 2 plus that little box is equal to 5. The number that you uh, figured out is the solution, okay? But one of the main things that we do in algebra is solve equations, okay? We use variables to represent numbers, okay? This is a huge thing because we don't know the value of something. So we use these variables, and then we can establish relationships uh, with those variables and the information that we have in a particular problem, like a word problem. But once we have these um, uh, unknown values, we want to figure out what they are, so we want to use this process of solving equations to figure out what the exact value of, uh, of a particular variable is. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the main topics that you're going to learn in like a first-year algebra course. So this would include things like pre-algebra as well, but um, let's go ahead and kind of get into it. So the first thing you need to know when you study algebra is you need to be super good at arithmetic, okay? Arithmetic, so that is all these basic things like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And when we're dealing with various uh, mathematical operators, and these are called mathematical operations, okay? It's, if I have, could give you two numbers like two and seven, what can I do with them? Well, I can manipulate them, I can add, subtract, multiply, divide these particular numbers. So these are mathematical operations. And in algebra, okay, uh, the rules of arithmetic are still being applied. So uh, we need to follow something called the order of operations, and that's a little PEMDAS. If you're not familiar with that acronym right there, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. This is very, very, very important. This is the basics of algebra. You've got to be a master at arithmetic. So all the stuff that you learn in uh, primary or, or uh, elementary school, you must know for algebra, okay, as well. Okay, so the second thing is we have to understand uh, what a variable is, and uh, I just kind of talked about that. And uh, there's different things where we can, real basic stuff about variables, like, for example, um, x plus 3, that's a number plus 3, but what if I write 3x? Okay, well, in algebra, this means 3 being multiplied by x or 3 being multiplied by a number. So we're going to have to be very good at uh, translating or putting things uh, into uh, variables. Now, let's move on to uh, basic number operations or um, understanding about the type of numbers that we're going to use in algebra, and that is something called the real number system. And the real number line, okay, includes zero, includes all the positive numbers and negative numbers. So you need to know a lot about different type of numbers in algebra, okay, both positive and negative numbers. And you're going to need to know how to multiply, uh, uh, multiply, divide, add, subtract, positive and negative numbers, and in, in addition, always keep these other rules of the order of operations in mind. So a lot of the basics of algebra involves arithmetic, okay, working with numbers, and that would include our favorite type of numbers, which of course are fractions, okay, you got to know a lot about fractions to be successful in algebra. So you can see a lot of algebra is a knowledge of arithmetic, okay, because remember, uh, arithmetic is just working with numbers, but if I have uh, like x plus 3 over z, something like this, well, this is just a number. x represents some number, and z represents another number. So we're still working with numbers. We just have these placeholders called uh, variables in play, but we still always need to keep the rules of arithmetic in mind. Okay, so let's talk about some of the uh, more interesting things that we learn in algebra. Well, Right off the bat, you need to uh, understand that you're going to be solving a lot of different type of equations in algebra. So I just showed you some real basic equations, but there's all different sorts of types of equations and scenarios that you're going to have to master. So some of these are called uh, linear equations. These are our most basic types. And then you kind of move uh, and kind of graduate up from there 
and you can get into quadratic equations. The way we solve quadratic equations are completely different than these type of equations. You're going to learn something called systems of equations, which are, these are all completely different. And you're going to have to learn all the procedures and techniques to solve these various type of equations. We have radical equations. We have rational equations. I'm not going to kind of bore you with all the different type of equations, but there's a tremendous different type of equations in algebra, and each one is different than the other. Okay, so you're going to have to learn all the various techniques and procedures to solve all these various type of equations. And then lastly, a big thing that you do in algebra is uh, you do a lot of graphing. Okay, so uh, along with equations, okay, every equation we can model as a graph. And uh, when you see things graphically, we can interpret things and study things, analyze things uh, by using a kind of a graph, graphical representation of equations. So you're going to learn a lot about how to graph uh, various um, shapes, principally lines and parabolas, and how to find the equations of these things as well. And as you kind of uh, keep pulling together all these skill sets, you're going to be solving all sorts of different uh, problems, including our favorite uh, type of problems, which are word problems. We love word problems. It's one of my favorite things to do is word problems. But a lot of you out there don't want to deal with word problems. I get it. They're challenging. But uh, it is a part of uh, the beauty of algebra because in algebra, we could solve all sorts of different type of uh, problems that involve uh, unknowns. Okay, we could take information and construct equations and then solve these various equations and answer um, and solve various type of problems. So this is a quick overview of what algebra is and what you're going to learn in algebra. So there's no need to stress about algebra. Here's the deal. Uh, most of you out there are going to have to take this uh, no matter what. But I'm here to tell you, you can be successful in algebra, right? But what do you need? You need, one, a good attitude about it. you got to be willing to do the work, okay? That's always the case in anything. But you also need great instruction. So hopefully you got a, uh, an excellent teacher. If you do not, if you feel like you don't connect with your teacher's teaching style, well, I can definitely help you out. But uh, if this little video was entertaining or helped you out in some small way, consider helping me out by smashing that like button and maybe subscribing to my YouTube channel. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus math videos from basic math to advanced math like calculus and everything in between. So please take advantage of all my content uh, that I have on my channel and I will be posting, but my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.